Last week I introduced that we're starting a new seven-part series where we explore the various stages of life and the financial considerations that come with each one. Today we are starting with the first part, namely starting your first job. Starting your first job is an exciting time in life. It signifies the beginning of your career and the start of your financial independence. With your first paycheck, it's essential to start building a solid financial foundation. This means creating a budget, setting financial goals and saving for the future. One of the most critical steps is to start contributing to a retirement plan. Even if it's just a small amount each month, the power of compounding interest can turn those small contributions into significant savings over time. It's also crucial to establish good credit by paying bills on time and avoiding debt. Building a solid credit history will make it easier to qualify for loans and credit cards in the future. Here are eight things that you might want to consider doing with your first paycheck. Number one, create a budget. Take the time to create a budget and track your expenses. Figure out what your necessary expenses are, like rent, utilities, groceries, and how much you have left over for discretionary spending. Number two, build an emergency fund. Start setting aside some money into an emergency fund that can cover unexpected expenses, such as car repairs, medical bills, or job loss. It's generally recommended to save three to six months worth of living expenses. Number three, pay off debt. If you have any high interest debt, such as credit card balances or student loans, consider using some of your paycheck to pay it off. This will not only reduce the amount of interest you owe over time, but it can also improve your credit score. Number four, invest in retirement. Even if you just started out, it's never too early to start saving for retirement. Consider contributing to a retirement annuity to take advantage of compounding interest and potential employer matches. Number five, medical aid. Consider investing in a medical aid plan to help cover medical expenses that may arise. Make sure to research different plans and choose one that best fits your needs and budget. Number six, income protection insurance. In addition to medical aid, consider getting income protection insurance. This can help ensure that you have a source of income if you are unable to work due to injury or illness. Research different policies and choose one that aligns with your needs and budget. Number seven, draft a will. While it may not be the most exciting thing to think about, it's important to draft a will to ensure that your assets are distributed according to your wishes after you pass away. This can also help avoid family disputes and ensure that your loved ones are taken care of. Consider consulting with a professional to draft a will that is legally binding and covers all your bases. And the last one, number eight, treat yourself. Finally, don't forget to treat yourself a little bit with your first paycheck. You've worked hard and it's important to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Just make sure that you're not spending more than you can afford and that you're still sticking to your budget. Don't miss the next podcast on Point of View where we will continue with part two of the Stages of Life series.